Okay, welcome back to uh, this restoration video of the uh, Soul Calibur Arcade game. Um, I've went ahead and uh, we've got the you know the cabinet disassembled. We got everything out. We're getting ready to put some bondo in these holes down here, and uh, I've sanded the areas. I cleaned the areas, you know, around the sides. Up in here, we've cleaned those little bit of corners. There's not a whole lot of bondo on this game. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna mix up some bondo, and um, we'll put we'll, we'll apply it to the front of here, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, uh, we have this uh, this body filler for uh, you know your car from the Bondo Company. Um, this is what we generally use to take care of some of this little bit of cabinet damage and fill holes and stuff. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use um, if you never used this stuff before, just uh, read the instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, this stuff has like a it's kind of like in a putty form. I like a kind of a liquidized putty form and uh, <clears throat> once you add some of this hardening agent it'll give you some time to uh, you know apply it and then it'll, it'll harden to something kind of like what's in the here it's like rock solid this stuff is pretty durable you can sand it and paint it and it doesn't you know doesn't go it doesn't bleed through your paint and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, guesstimate how much we're going to need for this. It's, I tend to do just like extra and I'm just going to put it on this piece of crap foam board I got here. I'm just going to put some on here. Maybe. Just use whatever to get it out like a spoon. Probably should wear gloves doing this. Probably not the best stuff in the world to get on your hands but You can use whatever you want to put this on. I mean, you can, you can use that lid, but the lid is so screwed up that this can is almost empty, and I'm kind of like, well, got this piece of crap foam laying around here. So we're going to need to fill at least like three holes, four holes, I think, and then um, you know, some of those corner pieces and stuff. So we're just going to get as much of this crap out of here as we can. It's kind of sucks when you get down to the end of the barrel. It takes forever. I'll start with that, and then um, you got this uh, this cream hardener stuff. What you want to do is not get the stuff on your fingers. <laughs> Maybe put like you know a little bit in there. And once you start mixing this together, you got maybe 15, 20 minutes before it's hardened. I wouldn't wait too long. Let's use our spatula to mix this putty knife. It's kind of like doing drywall work. Not like I've ever done that. We want it to be kind of like a pukey. I hurled my lunch color, you know, puke green, pinky, not green, <laughs> green. Like a Pinky kind of color. Getting there. Just want to make sure you mix it up pretty good. You can see there's some gray left in there, all mixed in. I'm by means not an expert of bondoing. Trust me in that. So that looks that looks pretty good. And all you gotta do is just fill the stuff in the holes. The better job you do, the less sanding you have to do. Start, you know, packing it in there. You see the little bubbles start forming. Don't want to leave that much on there. But.
these holes are really big. You should use a use like a wooden dowel to fill the hole, but these little holes, this is perfectly fine. I don't know if having that tape on the back is going to cause us more problems. It's worth Air really can't escape by doing that. We'll do a little bit like this and then we'll pull the tape off, I think. Let's see what's going on there. That's okay. You want to have a little extra, because you want to sand this smooth and you want to think that there's nothing there. So if it sticks up a little bit, that's probably better having to go and do this all over again. So we constantly get some of the excess off. Definitely don't want to bother your cord. This hole's a little concerning. Bubbles in it, that's no good. Forgot to wear gloves. That's not good. See, if you see little dips in it, something you don't want to have. I'd rather have a big chunk of mess like that than a dip. Ha! <laughs> That's what she said, probably. Alright, so I got... Stuff gets kind of runny, which sucks. But put some of this cracks on here, too. Okay, it's, uh, we let it dry for about, a, about an hour. Um, the can says like 30 minutes, but I let it go about an hour. Maybe sometimes overnight. But it's, uh, <clears throat> it's all, uh, it's all rock hard. Little bits and pieces here. Or we should have, uh, maybe been a little, uh, lenient on the Bondo, but that's okay. I'm using a pretty high grit sandpaper just to kind of take this down. Now what we want to do is, uh, with the sandpaper and sanding, we just want to sand this as smooth as possible. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to get awfully smoky in here. So.
pull off these stickers up here. So basically now we just got the real boring, boring part of sanding all this stuff down. There's like five layers of paint on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, I'll catch you when I'm done with that. Okay, so we got all of our sanding done and I actually went over the whole cabinet again with a 150 grit um, just to get it really, really smooth as possible anyway. And I also did the same thing to the, um, to the control panel. We, you know, we did some Bondo and uh, sanded that a couple times over and same with this, uh, this access door for the, the logic board. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to clean up this cabinet with some uh, Simple Green. Just get all the dust off as much as possible so we can get ready to paint. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now, maybe. This camera will work with me. And uh, let's get going. <clears throat> Soak it all on there, let's get all this stuff down and off. You can see there's a lot of stuff on there, so a lot of dust particles and stuff. <laughs> Don't eat it. Much of this off as we can. Uh, I, I also sanded the top of the game as well, you know, because we're gonna paint that too. I'm just gonna wash the crap off up there. It's kind of hard, so I have to go up this ladder, so don't make fun of me. Oh, it's not really hard. Uh, the tops of these games don't generally hold up as well. So, I guess you really don't see it that much, but I still like to, uh, you know, at least paint the top, make it kind of look nice, at least when you flip the game over, to move it on the dolly and stuff. <clears throat> Go ahead, and oh, one one other thing I did do is I did mask off this um, original uh, serial number plate. It was pretty crappy, but I still like to keep that intact, um, unless the serial numbers are completely gone. <coughs> Just gonna kind of wash some of the stuff off of here and down here. Uh, I can't really see that, but that's. I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, the back door of the game, even though, you know, you don't really see it very much, but still want it to look halfway decent, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to wash it off a little bit. I didn't do a lot of prep work to this yet. That's fine. This bolt. I should take this screw out of there. For the painting, I'm going to be using um, some of this uh, Rust Oleum Protective Enamel. And I usually use the, um, let's see if you can see that better, the semi gloss black. Um, it gives you just a little bit of shine, but not too much, so you don't see imperfections and stuff. So we're going to mix that up and paint up the cabinet. And I'm going to use these uh, 
see them here. I got these, uh, whatever, Wiz Flock. <laughs> Wiz Flock. Um, ultra Smooth Surfaces uh, Roller. And then I have, um, I don't have them out here, but I have little corner piece, uh, little corner things too to get the corners. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up and start painting. I by no means am like not an expert painter, so maybe you should watch like a real painting video or something. <laughs> You did a good job sanding this start. This is where you're going to start seeing if it's, you know, you're going to see if your sanding job is real good or if it was pretty crap. This is why I like the game on rollers. I can just kind of move it around. We're definitely going to have to use at least two coats. I mean, that's pretty standard. Sometimes you get away with one if it's just a small area, but. Another reason why you take the tea molding off right here, you can, then we don't have to worry about it getting all full of paint. Like for some reason you weren't going to change it. I've also learned like really, really good lighting is important too, so you can see, you know, have as many lights on as you can. Sunlight's the best, but we're in Wisconsin, so sunlight's a commodity. along the sides where the monitor glass sits and this little thing here with the glass holes and this little bit of wood up here along the sides of here. Just gonna use this little uh, corner thing. Try not to touch. Probably should have did this first. <laughs> Try not to 
mess up the front of the game as they're doing this. We got our first coat on and everything. Um, hopefully it turns out okay. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat and then we'll come back when it's all done. So I think we're going to end the video here and next time uh, we'll have all the painting done and we'll start working on uh, the coin door and the electronics. So. See you then.